With Tarkov on the verge of a wipe, there are many new and or experienced players contemplating on waiting for the wipe to start. I highly recommend you don't do that. If you're not the best or slightly good at Tarkov, pre-wipe is the best time to start to learn. You get to be a little more reckless than usual with the safety net of a wipe right around the corner. So I want to go over some things to try before you start fresh all over again. We're going to briefly discuss understanding your playstyle, learning the maps, and how you may still have gear fear even if you think you don't. So without further ado, let's get started. Understanding your playstyle. Some time ago, I read a book called Strength Finder 2.0, and this book is meant to help people figure out what they are good at. It provides a formula for potential, if you will, and that formula is talent, a person's natural way of thinking, behaving, or the things they're born with, multiplied by investment, which is time, energy, and resources, equals strength. Now the highest a person can score in either category of talent or effort is a 5, meaning the total for potential is a max of 25. The book gives an example of Rudy Rudiger, a famous underdog football player for a college university, uh, Notre Dame I think it was. They made a movie about him called Rudy. Now Rudy wanted so badly to be a football player, but he was only about 5 foot 6 and 165 pounds at the age of 23 in college, so at the most he could have scored a two in the talent department, but he dedicated hours and hours into getting good at the sport, so much so I would dare say he earned a solid five in the effort department. However, that only gives him a total of 10 points in potential of football. Sure, they made a movie about him. He tackled the opposing team's quarterback in the final moments of that one game and, you know, it got them victory or whatever. But beyond that, Rudy didn't do much else in football. He didn't become the greatest running back, quarterback, or defensive end of all time. As a matter of fact, he actually ended up just becoming a motivational speaker, not a world-class athlete. Another example given was Michael Jordan. We all know his name, right? That's because he played to his strengths, basketball. And it served him well, I think most of us could say. However, when he tried to play against his strengths by trying sports like golf and baseball, his ability to perform in those sports simply was nowhere near as strong as his basketball skills. I want you to apply the same concept to understanding your playstyle in Tarkov. Don't be afraid to try new things, as that is a part of the process, and the game is meant to be for fun. But think about what you naturally gravitate to and what you naturally do well. What things do you think about in-game that others don't? What weapon feels most comfortable to you? And which ones do you perform well with? Do you find you have better raids when you're running through factory like a maniac mowing down anything that moves? Or do you play a really good stealth game? Maybe you like to snipe. It could be anything, but you have to give it all a shot and take the time to see what feels strong for you. Now again, the game is meant to be fun. So if playing against your strengths is fun, then do it. Rudy Rudiger might not have been good at football, but that doesn't mean he didn't enjoy it still. If you were to ask that man if he'd have chosen a different path, I bet he'd say he wouldn't want it any other way. So just have fun with the game. Our next topic somewhat coincides with knowing your playstyle. The maps in Tarkov are also important when learning your playstyle because I feel like each map is for a different kind of player. But that's another video in its own, which I'll be doing. When learning your playstyle, try it on different maps and see which works best with it. Trying to be a sniper on a small enclosed map like Factory doesn't sound too smart to me, but if you can find a way to make it work for you, who am I to tell you you're playing wrong? Especially if you've got 80 million rubles in your bank from that method. Play a map over and over again, learning the stash locations where scavs tend to spawn and roam to, and where the high PvP and contested areas tend to be. Knowing these locations will help you strategize and tailor your playstyle to the map and make your loot run so much more smoother. Trust me, you do not want to be running around in circles trying to find a hidden stash. You'll get tunnel vision and end up not paying attention to your surroundings and end up getting killed. I'm speaking from experience here. Don't waste your time or energy looking around tents or houses that don't spawn any loot. Learn which ones spawn loot and which ones don't. 
The more efficient you can be with the looting, the more likely you are to survive and thrive. For newer or inexperienced players, I highly recommend learning Customs and Factory. Customs, because it's a medium-sized map with numerous easy-to-find stashes in close proximity to each other. And Factory, because when you're low on gear and rules, it's one of the best places to do a scout from the and exfil with little to no problem. Next stop is going to be about good gear, okay? Some of you actually aren't bad, you just don't invest in good gear, okay? I need you to get over your gear fear. I remember there was a time where I thought I was over mine until I killed Tegilla for the first time. And instead of using his armor, I tried to sell it on the flea market because it felt too good for me to use. Okay, look, usually I'm like Aqua FPS, no shots at him <laughs> over here, right? I'm like Aqua FPS, just barely scraping by, wishing I could get a viewer kit, all right? Good gear feels foreign to me. I'm not used to it, or at least I wasn't until I actually started investing in it. Invest in quality tools. It won't matter how great of a carpenter you are if your nails are made out of glass. That little PST 9x18 ammo ain't doing much past level 1 armor, alright? Stop buying the Paka and get the beefy stuff. I'm willing to bet that if you understand your playstyle and invest in quality gear, you'll end up making more money than you spend on your gear each raid. Some of you are screaming at your computers wondering how one guy killed you in three shots when you just mag dumped everything under the sun at him. It's simply the contrast between your gear. Even if you get the drop on this guy, if your bullets aren't killing him before he can turn around and fire off that flechette filled shotgun on your pack of vest, it does not matter. Those are the three most important things to think about when starting Tarkov in my opinion. I'll be doing separate videos on PvP and which maps are good for who and what. So if you want to hear what I have to say on those topics, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't even know what I'm shooting at at this point. I think he's dead. Maybe. Who the hell is that? Wait, are they coming this way? NANI?! Dude! Freaking Tagilla, yo? <laughs> I've never killed this man. I thought, <laughs> I thought he was about to mash my potatoes with the hammer, bro. <laughs> Anywho!